Tip number six. When running a generative design study, many people may have seen this within the study settings and may not know what it is, but synthesis is a way within generative design to allow for a certain amount of complexity within the solver. So the easiest way that I would put this here is that if you have very thin walls within your geometry, you should use a higher synthesis. If you've removed a lot of your complex, smaller features, you can use more of a coarse synthesis. Everything else, I would stay exactly in the middle where that's set. So just to quickly show how to get there, so I'm gonna to go to a generative solve. And when I go to my study drop down to the left, you'll see under settings that I have this mesh synthesis slider. So again, for the majority of your projects, you'll probably be somewhere in the middle. That's why we selected it to go there um, at first for each project. But if you notice that you have very fine geometry or very thin geometry, I would slide this resolution to the right. And if you had a very simplified geometry with a lot of primitives and you've removed a lot of features, you could slide that a little bit to the left. Again, I would probably keep this to the middle for the majority of the projects that you have.